ho, ho, ho. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for being here on this beautiful day before we move into our second to last month in the year of November. And as is often the tradition here, it is time for me to bring you the preview, the setup for what is to come for our Long Song Saturdays for November 2022 as the year just flies by. I have all of the uh, schedule. I'm right here on this little small piece of paper. You can see it. Ah, you can't. Don't pause the video. Don't pause the video. You can't cheat. Anyways, as always, thank you for the suggestions because these four uh, songs, sides, etc., are directly from your suggestions. There's an ice cream truck outside. Uh, and speaking of bringing something cool, let's get into the schedule here. Don't forget to leave your comments and your suggestions down below because I literally look directly from the comments to choose these choices, to choose these recommendations. Uh, I cannot get to everything, <laughs> but I do try to make it a little bit varied. So uh, go ahead and leave those down there below. Also, just as an aside, with December coming up, I would like to do something for the holidays. So leave some suggestions. Just putting that out there. So the first choice with November, November, the 5th of November. Uh, the 5th of November, we're going to listen to, we going to. This is a suggestion from Nopler's God, Sinner from the Prairie, Sheldon Howells, Manhattan Man, Merrick Naiman, Linus Warren. There's a lot of you. Freddie Barber, Dennis Hertz, Andy Burge, and the list goes on and on from there. We're going to listen to the first side of the 1980 album, QE2, from Mike Oldfield. Yes, we are finally returning to the one, the only Mr. Oldfield with this album. This will be his sixth studio album. And we've actually listened to Mike Oldfield in order with his, his album. So I'm excited to move on from Platinum, which was a really fun album. That was, uh, that's how I described as ear candy. We're going to see how QE2 uh, lines up to that. The first side is going to be the tracks Taurus 1, Sheba, Conflict, and Arrival. So we'll be looking forward to that uh, for the first Saturday of the month. Let's exit that because I don't need that window anymore. The next one. <clears throat> For November the 12th, has been recommended by Frugal Severin, Porgy T, Marad. I think you recommended this at least. Uh, Benoit Desmare, Rico Mags, Jamie DeMalo, and the list as typical goes on and on. Brother Martin, Dolly, OSB, all of you. Thank you for this one. Uh, we're going to listen to a song from the 1977 double album from Miss Joni Mitchell. Paprika Plains, we will be listening to. Uh, which I believe, I can't say this for sure because I don't know, but I'm just looking at this. This must be like her longest track that she's ever made or one of them clocking in at 16 minutes long, taking up the entire second side of the album, uh, Don Juan's Reckless Daughter. It has to be her longest song or at least like one of them, but that is, that's long. And I'm excited because with someone like Joni Mitchell, what is she going to do in 16 minutes? Come by November 12th and you can find out alongside with me. The next album. I have to look at the list. I usually have it on my computer, but I, I just wrote it down real quick. Uh, November 19th. What do we got for November 19th? Who recommended this? Michael Capewell. I gotta keep scrolling. <laughs> Mikey. LJW. Monty Ernst. Roger Henney. Helga KS. Steven. Uh, let me get your last name. Steven Presnall. Steven Parkin. A lot of Stevens, Andrew Clayton, listen, a bunch of you recommend this as well. So we are going to listen to the first side of the 1974 release, the fourth studio album by the band Focus. We're going to listen to the first side of their album, Hamburger Concerto, which will be the tracks D D Delight Musica, Harem Scarum, La Cathedral de Strasbourg, and Birth, which is also an incredible progressive rock band that just released an album this year uh so yeah this is one i've heard a lot about i have the album actually down here uh so we'll be listening to it that way but focus you know they're a band of quality you guys have been asking for this one for a long long time so i am happy to oblige happy to give it a listen so that is what we'll be listening to on the uh the 19th the first side of this album and then finally and then finally for November 26th, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, we will be listening to 
a recommendation by David Ryder, Todd Harshman, John Lynch. Actually, I don't see any more from the way that I searched it, but I, I know that there's more. I just didn't. I know there's more of you that recommended this track. Uh, but we're going to listen to the 1971 live performance. We're not listening to the studio cut, which is five minutes. We're listening to this apparently very popular live performance, which is 22 minutes. <laughs> we have four times the length on this one. I almost said something. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna listen to uh, this track, which is coming off of their debut album, the Almond Brothers Band. We're going to listen to Whipping Post live at the Fillmore East, uh, 1971 performance. We're going to listen to this 23 minute rendition that you guys have so uh, so frequently recommended. So I'm happy to listen to more from the Almond Brothers Band, as it's been a while since we've listened to them, and it's not really a bad time ever to really listen to them. So. With all that being said, this is your schedule. Mike Oldfield, QE2 side one. Joni Mitchell, Paprika Fields. Focus, Hamburg Concerto side one. And then Almond Brothers, Whipping Post, live at the Fillmore. I got a nice list for you. I got a nice list. Now, I've said this last month, and I'm going to say it again. This is just four songs out of the month. It's just four songs out of the month. I do a minimum of 11 songs a week. However, I've been, if you've noticed, I've been doing more. I've been trying to do more. I'm trying. I'm trying. So some of your long songs may end up in a place during the week. I'm not getting into full album Fridays. I, I have no time to do that just yet. <laughs> and by just yet, unless something happens, I ain't ever having that time. But I'm just saying, as some of you have noticed, I, I take your suggestions and sometimes I just pop them in in another day. Just because, you know what? I can do that. I can do that. I got the power. So anyways, I hope that you're looking forward to these suggestions. I hope that you're interested in what's coming up. Don't forget to continue leaving recommendations for the coming days, the coming months, the coming weeks, and etc. As I always appreciate them. And um, I hope there's something to look forward to. So let me know your thoughts down below on the schedule. Hopefully you enjoy something out of the month upcoming. And besides that, seriously, thank you so much for being here and for all the recommendations and for consistently and constantly listening to me having the patience that you have. Thank you. I just appreciate you. So anyways, I'll see you all later in one of these Saturdays, hopefully, but I would hope that even sooner, like you don't have to wait to the Saturdays. You can watch between the Saturdays. I'll see you all later. Bye.